What's up, everybody? My name is Archipelago, and I screwed up. I filmed the whole film, film, filmed the whole 45-minute video without hitting record. So this is the second take of that video. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, this is uh, Fallout New Vegas, and we're gonna be doing a, a, a full playthrough of Fallout New Vegas alongside the Ocarina of Time series. Don't worry, it's not going away. Um, but I wanted to make it interesting, so I decided to do a permadeath run. But uh, not just permadeath run, because that'd be too easy. It's pretty easy not to die in New Vegas as long as you're not a stupid idiot like me. Oh wait. But yeah, anyway, we're going to do a Fallout New Vegas permadeath run where I'm only allowed to heal at doctors. And this is going to be difficult. Number one, because there's only a few doctors in the game that I actually know the locations of, so I'll still be learning as I go. And there's going to be uh, a stipulation where I'm not going to use any healing items. I can't eat food, I can't drink water. I can't use stim packs, I can't use doctor's bags, I'm not going to be healing my rads at all. It's going to be a whole thing. And not only that, I'm not going to be able to sleep, and I've made a stipulation for myself where I'm, I, I'm once I enter an area that I know has enemies in it, I won't be able to leave uh, that area unless, A, I'm either in real danger and I'm about to die and I feel like it's a, I, c I could run, or B, I've completed the objective. So it's going to be a whole thing. I'll sort of decide the rules. I'll tweak the rules a little bit more as I go. But right now, the general rule is go into an area, don't come out unless you've done everything that needs to be done there. Um, the problem with this run is that New Vegas has base healing regen. So it's kind of iffy. I'm not going to do like a many a true nerd thing and keep a health counter because I really don't. I'm not motivated enough, <laughs> per se, to go to all those lengths like like he is, like good old John is. But um, but yeah, so there's gonna be a. It's very small. It, you're mainly gonna notice it while I'm while I'm like waiting and stuff. Um, also, there's a mission in this game that does force you to sleep, which is iffy. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get past that, but we'll cross that bridge when it comes because it's very, very late into the run. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna find a way to negate the base health regen because that's you know like it's not really a big of a deal uh, at this point. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole thing, um, but it's gonna be a very difficult run because I'm not by any means good at following you, I guess. I mean, I've played it a few times, but I still haven't memorized any of where the random encounters happen except for, like, a few and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is, if I sound very bored and unenthused this episode, it's because I, I just filmed it. Like, I literally just did it, minimized the game, and realized that I hadn't... I, I hadn't recorded any of it. Like, it was, it was gone. So, pissed me off. So, we're going to start from a clean slate. I'm not going to load up that save and go through everything. It's going to be completely brand new. We're going to make a brand new character. And here we are. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here. Oh, I'm really, I'm really mad at myself for <laughs> wasting 45 minutes of my day filming an episode that I wasn't actually filming. I mean, I recorded the audio and everything. <laughs> but XSplit didn't record anything. I made sure I'm recording the, both the audio and the video for this one now, so... I think we're good to go. I really do think we're good to go. This is Benny. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. <laughs> I just noticed Jessup's face there. This is the weirdest thing. He's got his mouth hung up like an idiot. Uh, and roll credits. And this is Doc Mitchell. He's the first person you meet in the whole game, next to, I guess, the Benny and the Great Cons that shot you. Yeah. So, what should we be called? Um, something clever, something, uh, something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continuity's good. You'll probably notice me getting some items in this top corner there, because, um... 
I have a few of the DLCs equipped that give you some items right off the bat, like the uh, the courier pack and the caravan pack and all that stuff. It's a it's a whole thing. Um, I'll probably end up selling a bunch of those items anyway because I don't really care to use them. I've also uh, I've also done all the DLCs. Uh, well, I haven't done them, but I have all the DLCs. So if I live throughout the full game, I guess I might try some of the DLCs. So yeah, let's 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 do this. Uh, this is a completely unmodded playthrough. Let's be female for this one. A completely uh, un unmodded playthrough. Completely vanilla game. So it's all. Uh, it's all vanilla. The, it's the the game is completely as is. I've just I've made try sure disabled all my mods for this playthrough because uh, I wanted it to be completely vanilla, no questions asked. It's just it's just Fallout New Vegas the game with the DLCs, which is the way I wanted to do the playthrough. I feel like it's the best way. Hair color. Let's do something dark. Yeah, that's good. Done. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Okay. And we're into the game. Uh, this is Doc Mitchell's face. Very, very much so uh, his face. So the Veritas machine is right over there. We're going to go over to it and wait for Doc Mitchell to catch up with us because we're super quick, even though we've just been shot in the face. So this is the Veritas machine. It's going to help us determine our build for the game. We'll be able to change it with some perks and stuff, but for now, this is basically what we're stuck with. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to decrease my strength by one. I think that most of the guns I'm going to be able to... I'm going to want to use are within the strength threshold of one to four, which is good. That's basically all I'm going to really need. I'm not going to be using anything too huge. Um, perception I'm going to want up there. Maybe I'll go with eight for perception. Yeah, eight is good because I can get it up with a perk, and then just another thing will increase my perception to up, all the way up to ten, which is very, very good. This will help me uh, be able to see compass markers on my, on my uh, little compass thing uh, way before they see me. So I'll be able to see little red dots that'll indicate enemies way before um, anyone else but way before they'll be able to spot me. So that's good. It's going to help me uh, spot enemies really easily and pick them off before they know to see me to take any damage well, to shoot at me. Endurance. Uh, this is going to infect our uh, affect our base health. And I want to get this up, but not too much because it's not like I'm not healing at all. Like, I'll still be able to heal, but I want, I want there to be something... I want there to be a little bit more than regular, which is which is will be useful. Charisma, dump skill. The only thing it's good for is um, is speech, specifically for this run, because I'm not going to be worrying too much about barter or companion nerf, because I'm not going to be using any companions, because they'll just attract aggro and stuff, and I don't need. Uh, you could argue that they'll help me do extra damage, but I really had something about. It. I just don't like having companions. I don't know. It makes I feel like the game, it makes the game too easy. So I'm dumping all of my charisma and going into misanthrope. I'll be able to level up speech. Uh, fairly well. It'll just start at a lot lower than uh, than most playthroughs. Uh, intelligence, I'll also want up. That's a given. Uh, agility. Agility will go up to 7 and then just leave luck at a solid 5. I don't know. I like having luck at a solid 5. I know it actually does... Um, I, well, I know it does like affect... It, it's very good. Especially for critical hits. Ooh, but critical hits are good, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to take one off my agility. Yeah, I'll get rid of one on my agility. Put it down to six, and then put luck up at just a little bit above halfway. So, let's review. Strength at a four, perception at eight, endurance at seven, charisma is all the way down at one, intelligence is eight. Uh, agility is 6, and luck is 6. And I think that's good enough. I really do like that build. Cool. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Yeah, he has, he has like 14 different things he can say, but I've only ever heard like one or two of them, and that's the one I hear most because I don't really... Sometimes I do charisma, but I don't normally do charisma. So now we're going to have a seat on his couch. He's going to ask us a bunch of questions, but they're completely a formality. 
Um, there are just a bunch of random questions to determine right. like what skills are going to be leveled up right away, but we can pick whatever we want at the very end anyway, so it's completely a formality. I'm just going to skip all the way through it. Okay, so now that I've skipped all the way through that, he's just going to give it the results. And uh, we're going to get to pick what we want to level up first. I already have a general idea. Uh, speech is good. I want to get that leveled as much as possible because it's going to allow me to pass speech checks and stuff that will not only get me extra XP, but will help me uh, avoid combat in some instances. There's a few missions coming up that I will need speech to completely avoid combat, and I don't want to take too much damage, especially if I'm in an area where I can't get to a doctor right away. And we're going to want to level up guns as soon as possible because that's basically all I'm going to be using for the whole playthrough, especially like that. And we're going to level up Sneak. Um, medicine's completely a formality because I'm not going to be... It's completely useless. I'm not going to be leveling up. Survival is the same way. This only determines how much health I'll gain from like eating and drinking, which is completely useless because I'm not going to be eating or drinking. Uh, and the rest of these I don't really see me needing that much of. I'll level up lockpick in the future and some repair and some science because I'm going to need to repair my weapons quite often, especially if I find something that's very, very good. Um, but other than that, I think we're good for this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. And here we go. We're going to need to pick our perks. Um, there are a few ones here that I'm kind of iffy on. I normally go Wild Wild Wasteland, but that's going to be completely pointless for this run because I don't really care about stopping and seeing the sights. So I definitely do want to go with Trigger Discipline because it's going to make me more accurate as opposed to uh, really fast firing. Um, so I'll definitely do. Uh, I definitely do want to do Trigger Discipline, especially if I'm going for like sneak attack criticals and stuff. And in Vats, I'm definitely going to want to be able to hit the head a lot more often. And I'm. If in whether or not I want, I, whether or not I want to go with good natured or four eyes, because four eyes will immediately help me get my perception up. But I have to find a pair of glasses as soon as possible, and I'm not exactly sure where one of those is. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go with good natured because it's gonna give me plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech. But I have a minus five to a bunch of stuff. But I'm not really worried because having um. Having a plus five to barter speech and repair are uh, are good, especially early on because you know I want to level up those skills more than anything. So yeah, I'm gonna go with good natured. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. Cool. So now we're gonna get up, and he's gonna walk to the door and give us all our stuff back. We actually we don't even have to wait till he walks to the door. If we just talk to him right now. Here. He just gives us all our stuff, which is good. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I guess. So yeah, we've gotten some decent stuff. It might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Cool. Well, if you're heading back out, and then he's gonna give us our first Pip Boy, Pip Boy glove. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Yeah. So now we've got a Vault 21 jumpsuit. On you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. And then we can thank him. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny. And then he can tell us talk to Sunny Smiles, who is the first uh, like mercenary person. She she uh, she'll teach us how to. Yeah, so we can we can be on our way now. But uh, I'm not going to go hardcore mode because that'll I have to keep up with everything by eating and drinking, and I don't want to have to do that. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're not going to be on our way like we should should be. We're going to steal everything from Doc Mitchell because he has some decent stuff on him that we can sell already and get some decent money from. Uh, dresser, actually nothing of interest in there. Uh, some cigarettes, those are worth a good amount of money. Uh, we've got... Yeah, this is going to be a lot of me uh, scavenging. This playthrough is going to be 
a fair bit of just uh, looking through stuff to sell. You got some dirty water that I can take. Bathrooms got nothing in it. Uh, but, but over here we've got some more stuff. We got a gun case with a laser pistol, some E cells, and some drained E cells. I'll probably sell those because I don't really uh, have a use for them. We got some stim packs. Some anti venom and some rat X that I can sell. Nothing in the in the box though. So yeah, we'll be on our way. Okay, so here we are in Good Springs. That's the Doc McGill house we just came down from. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head. Well, we we normally would head over to the Prospector Saloon, but there's a few things I want to take care of before we do so, and that is more scavenging. We're going to look through the houses of the good people of Good Springs to see if there's anything worth my while that we can sell. And I know it kind of it's kind of a not cool guy move, but nothing uh, nothing wrong with uh, taking care of yourself now and then. So we got a cabinet with some good stuff in it. Oh, Brahma's can outfit actually is good as well. Pre-war hat. That's perception one, right? Actually, I don't even care. Uh, there's a safe here that's average locked, so I don't have the power to open it yet. But the dresser's empty. We got a briefcase with nothing in it. Who keeps a shot glass in a briefcase? A toaster in a. What is up with this house? Maybe there's some part of lore that I haven't seen yet that has stuff to do with this house. Nothing too good in there. I'm not even sure if I can go inside this house. No, it looks like it's completely blocked off. Um, there's one over there, though, that we can check out. Mailbox is completely empty. Well, here we are. Uh, nothing too, too decent. We got a desk. An empty desk, uh, filing cabinet. Oh, it's got a carton of cigarettes in it, though. That's not, did I not take it again? What? The carton of cigarettes are fairly valuable. Yeah, in the kitchen we've got ooh a sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Sunset sarsaparilla. Nothing. Anything else in the kitchen? Uh, Ooh, we got a first aid box on the wall. It's got some purified water and some bitter drink in it, which is uh, all right. I think that's it for this house, though. Uh, this house over here, next. What's in the mailbox? Completely empty. And the house. There's nothing in the kitchen. We got a hammer. Over here, oh, that's, that's the bed. Over here, we got a foot locker with some caps, which is good. Cabinet, some more rounds. Ooh, a BB gun, some BBs, some buff out. Those are all nice. We can sell those. We got and two empty senseless aspirillas, which are useless. Some cleaners. The fridge has. Dirty water in it, which is good. I might be wondering why I'm taking all this dirty water and stuff. It, they're, it's actually worth uh, pretty much its weight in caps. They're all... Uh, I think I might have already been in here. Yeah, I was. It's worth pretty much its, it's, worth pretty much its weight in caps. Uh, the... Um, Dirty water. I keep losing track of all the houses that I've actually been in. Uh, we're gonna go check out Victor's shack as well. He's got some more e-cells we can sell alongside our laser pistol. It's over in this direction. Here's Victor's shack. It's a nice looking shack with the confederate flag, or, well not the confederate flag, but you know what I mean. Ammunition box over here with some e-cells. Uh, nothing too great in the rest of the house. Some cleaner. 
Cuffs. Why would a robot need cuffs? Uh, weapon repair kit, though. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, though, so we're on our way. Then we're going to talk to Sun Smiles and then head out to do some more scavenging on the other side of the, uh, on the other, on the other side of the saloon. I can't talk today, I apologize. Cheyenne and Cheyenne. here's Sunny Smiles. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Talking about her dog, Cheyenne. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, so now she's going to walk outside behind the saloon. And we're going to follow suit. But first, there's a really nice way to get some more stuff that we can sell. I'm just going to kick this barrel out of the way. So we can fall in behind it. Oh, I keep messing up. Alright, cut to when I finish this. Okay, and here we are. So now we can hide over here until we're hidden. And steal some stuff. Some scotch, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Yeah, cool. So now we're gonna head back out and Sunny Smiles is over here, but we're just gonna completely avoid her and go do some more scavenging because that's the kind of person I am. No box. Empty. I think this house is completely boarded off as well. Check the back for any more. Yeah, it's completely boarded off. I'm not too familiar with uh, all the stuff in this game yet, so. Uh, this has looked like completely boarded off as well, but anything in the bus? Ooh, and then a metal box with some vibe pins. No, a rolling pin, but, you know, not that great. Um, ooh, but what's this, though? I'm meeting people. That's a speech magazine, which is good. Uh, boarded off. Mailbox. Ooh, an energy weapons magazine. This house looks to be completely boarded off as well. And this one over here looks the same way. I know there's one house that I can actually go into. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Anyway, uh, now let's go talk to Sunny Smiles and get our first. Well, not our first gun, but you know. Yeah. See the Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Now I've done this a little bit before, Sunny Smiles, so I'm just gonna That's the right idea. Yeah. Look down the side. I missed. Try crouching there we go. Still. There we go. Well that's a start. But I don't know. Like yeah. I mean, house. I didn't. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Cool. Yeah, so now we're going to follow Sunny Smiles down to where the geckos are at, and we're going to go kill them and earn some fame as well as a job opportunity. I'll see you guys when I make it down there. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Cool. So that way, so now I'm going to go into sneak mode. And pull my rifle. I don't know if you can see, but there are some geckos over there. Okay, you're on. I'm not exactly okay. sure how visible they are. I know I saw some movement, but I don't know if I can actually... Oh, there's one over there. Oh, I had to reload. I didn't reload. Damn it. Okay, here we go. This should be an interesting adventure. Oh, got a midair. That was a little bit nerve wracking. Cool. See? You're getting the hang of it. Yep. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Let's do it. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come on. Okay, so now she's going to go one way. But I'm going to go around the other way, because there's a quick way of doing this. Because she's going to go attack one well, and I'm going to go attack this well down here, because 
if you can believe it, there's a few geckos over here that are attacking a lady, and if I save her life, which is not even here yet. Oh wait, no, there she is, yep. I can see her. It's one. Okay, yeah, I got it. Oh yeah, I fired a bullet by accident. The camera's doing some weird stuff. I think the lady died. She dead? She looks dead. But I think I got all the geckos. Yeah, I think I got all the geckos. Cool. Confound it, Cheyenne. Why'd you have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. Ooh, I think her dog died. That's not good. I haven't actually seen that before. Understand if you'd rather I just pay you so you could be on your way. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Normally, she teaches how to make some healing powder, but the healing powder itself isn't worth that much money. Uh, so there's no point in selling it, and she doesn't pay us to learn how to do it. It's just like one of those things that we don't really need. So now we're gonna go talk to Trudy. And then we can leave. Oh wait, yeah, I just realized something very important. Um, I have a uh, an item. This right here, the Vault Thirteen Canteen. Now, every once in a while, my character will drink from the Vault Thirteen Canteen because uh, I have it because I have the Ultimate Edition. It's one of those things that the game just gives you. Uh, and I'm not sure if me drinking it gives me health back. Uh, I didn't look into it prior, so just to be safe, I'm going to drop it. So I don't have it on me, I won't drink anything out of it, and I won't regain any health if that is the case. So that's the way I'm going to run it. It's not even worth anything, so it's not only fun. I don't think I'll be selling it either, so I'm just going to leave it there and uh, not worry whether or not uh, it's actually... Oh my fucking god. <laughs>
I filmed the 45 minute episode without even recording anything, so that's a whole thing. But other than that, I think uh, it was pretty good. So I will see you guys. My finger probably didn't get the whole frame there. I will see you guys in the next episode of Archipelago Gaming. Peace out. That was really, really bad outro. <laughs>